coming at you on this cool, crisp morning for Robinson County, North Carolina. I hope y'all are doing well this fine day. Uh, ready to head out to go to work. And I have to say this for sure. I've been blessed with two students that do have the desire to want to learn. So it's making the job a whole lot funner this semester. At any rate, though, folks, hope everybody's doing well, as well as can be expected. Um, in other news, yesterday I went and met with the contractor, and we basically signed our contract. The, what they're waiting on now is for the floor plans to be approved at the plant or factory up in Lillington, North Carolina. Once they do that, they can actually officially order the new house to be to start being built at the factory and uh, start getting some money coming in from the mortgage company who's got the insurance check. Uh, and get some ball, you know, get a ball rolling and get the old house taken down and get ready to put the new one up. Granted, $212,000. And the only reason it's that high is because uh, of this pandemic, which has caused certain businesses not to operate or to reduce how much they were operating. And it just snowballed from there, building materials, etc. But the price is locked in from what I was told yesterday. So the price is going to be what the price is. So that's the positive thing there, folks. So kind of anxious because RV is great, but it's getting a little, little too cozy at times. Uh, me and Mrs. Old Soldier and the two dogs at times. Uh, Especially meal times. If I'm cooking and she's got to go to the restroom or get something out of storage, it's it's we're always we're always trading space with each other. <laughs> so we'll be glad to get the new home set up and running just as soon as they can get it out there. All right, and other news. Uh, I was reading an article this morning, something about. Facebook executives were suppressing the Hunter Biden Ukraine deal, something or other, and then caught another one where Twitter was not allowing certain stories about Hunter Biden to be posted about these emails that they've supposedly the FBI has found on him that possibly could be incriminating. I say possibly because I haven't read them, so I don't know until I'm not a legal expert. Um, but if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, ruffles its feathers like a duck, it's probably a Biden. <laughs> but uh, so I guess that's starting to, to heat up. Um, is that going to affect Biden Harris? Don't know. Because the, the diehard supporters for Biden Harris, they don't seem to care about facts. They don't seem to care about character. Uh, unless it's the opposition, then it's slander and lie and cheat and do whatever. So Tell me in the comments below what you think. This is my opinion on things. President Trump made a promise during his first campaign to investigate a lot of things. Me personally, I hope his administration after this next election, if he wins, which I think he will, I say if because right now anything can happen, but... 
I want to see him crack the floodgates wide open on this investigation into the previous administration, uh, into the Clinton Foundation, and all the deals that they've made. Joe Biden and Hunter Biden's dealings in the Ukraine. These, what I call CYA emails from uh, Susan Rice. Uh, one says George Brennan. Both wrote these emails. They were only doing what the president told them to do. Susan Rice needs to be investigated, period, anyway. Um, just the whole Bo Bergendahl thing with her. She needs to be fully investigated on that and brought to trial. Likewise, I mean, uh, the whole thing with Bo Bergendahl is a done dead deal now. But Boy ought to have got life in prison minimum. You know, and the sad part about it, the previous president still won't come out and admit that he made a mistake and that he was responsible for all those lives that died looking for that pathetic piece of crap. But, uh, Anywho, any any way on that one. Yeah, I would like to see the president, if he wins his second term, really, really put the pressure on. And actually, I'd like to see the Attorney General of the United States start indicting some of these SOBs and uh, really see what happens from there. In a lighter more anecdotal note, Tommy Lee Jones, not Tommy Lee Jones, but yeah, Tommy Lee Jones, yeah, or Tommy Lee, not Tommy Lee Jones, get my celebrities mixed up, but Tommy Lee, the drummer of Motley Crue, stated if Trump's reelected, he's going to go back to Greece. Well, hey, Tommy, why don't you just stay there? Go find your buddy, Tom Hanks. Hang out with him. Uh, I'd like to see some of these other celebrities leave if Donald Trump's reelected as they promised they would. So we can say goodbye to Joy Behar, Whoopi Goldberg, all who else said they were going to leave. Big, that big, yeah, we got Rosie O'Donnell. Definitely Rosie O'Donnell. I'd like to see her just leave, go away, and never come back. That's the other thing. All these celebrities touting how bad America is in the United States. Uh, you know, one, they're making a boatload of money. A lot of you know, been celebrities. I so instead of using their celebrity power to, what I say, truly resolve issues and bash the president and bash the United States, all of them just need to pack up and leave. They can go live in North Korea for a year. Cuba. See how they like that. Or better yet, Saudi Arabia for some of the ladies. Oh yeah, they'd have a. Oh yeah, they'd have a field day over living, living in Saudi Arabia under Sharia law. They sure would. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think about what I'm saying. That you know, thinking the president ought to be reelected in these investigations. 
I'm not saying that to be a, that ought to be his top number one priority, but I'd really like to see him crank up the pressure and eat on it um, if he wins his second term. Which I'm pretty sure he will. Um, that's the other thing, though, too. thought process from the other side that they're going to do everything they can to disrupt that. So I'm still a firm believer that after this election, all you know it's still going to break loose for a time. The real question will be then is how quick it can be brought under control and law and order restored. But only time will tell. I, pray, I, I hope and pray I'm wrong about that. Rate they've been showing their ugly head. The communists are getting a little more and more bold. And, uh, short of outright direct action, I think they're truly going to do everything in their power to disrupt everything that's going on. But again, time will tell. That's all I got for today, folks. I hope everybody has a blessed and wonderful day. Stay safe out there. And uh, if your polls are open in the state you live in, get out and go vote. And we shall talk to you tomorrow. God bless. Take care. Silver Soldier out.